What's my name? It's a yes. We're back for Food Friday. One more time. Oh, yes. Sit back, relax, unwind. What's my name? It's a yes. We're back for Food Friday. One more time. Oh, yes. Sit back, relax, unwind. Let's go. Here, I'm here for another Foolery Friday. Did y'all like that broke down version of <laughs> DMX, honey? Listen, I told y'all last week that they were going to have a versus between DMX and Snoop Dogg. And listen, they didn't disappoint. Y'all, I have watched it twice. You can go, if you have Instagram, I don't have Apple TV. But if you have Instagram, um, you can go to Versus TV on their Instagram and watch the whole thing. It was great. Snoop is such a showman. He was drinking some Ciroc. Okay. Smoking a little ganja. And DMX was just being DMX. Okay. Fantastic. The way they fed off each other. It was great. So I tried to do a little salute you know, uh, to that versus, it was well done. Yay! Now, let's get into some foolery. I got a couple of stories. First, let me just start by saying, I hope you all are doing well. I hope um, you all are staying safe. I hope that your family's doing well. I hope you are checking on the ones that need to be checking on. And, um, other than that, I'm doing all right. Okay, I'm still going with the flow, and um, everything's fine on my end at this present time. Now, let's get into a couple of stories. First, let's talk about um, Tamar Braxton. As we know, um, she um, overdosed on some medication. Um, her boyfriend called 911. He found her unresponsive and they rushed her to the hospital well some things have come to light they have released the 911 um audio and her boyfriend let me what's his let me get his name y'all all right tamar's boyfriend um all right the boyfriend's name is david adepso child i put it on the screen a d e f e s o um, he called 911 and the operator was getting some information from him and the, op the um, 911 dispatcher was uh, assuring him that help was on the way. But while he was doing that, Tamar's boyfriend starts going into this conversation about WeTV and how WeTV did Tamar wrong and how Tamar felt used and People found that strange. Maybe he needed to blow off some steam. Maybe he needed someone to talk to. But child, you know, he started crying. And so anyway, um, of course, they rushed her to the um, hospital. Um, they said that um, she's doing well. She is in a mental health facility. They have changed her to another facility, um, you know. We all know that Tamar, Tamar has a new uh, reality show that was coming out called Get Your Life. They put out a trailer and apparently her boyfriend, either behind the scenes or on the trailer or something, there was some type of um, dispute going on. I don't know if it was like an argument with the producers or him and Tamar was arguing with the producer. Something happened in that trailer that allegedly Tamar didn't like. And she did not like the way that We TV had been treating her. And so she, um, you know, decided to hurt herself, you know, over, you know, I'm sure other things, you know, played a part. But um, it seems like that we, TV, and her are, are just not in some type of agreement. 
her uh, family is not happy with the way that um, the boyfriend was talking about um, Tamar's relationship with WeTV on that 911 tape. From what I gather, I think that um, they don't care too much for that boyfriend. People have said that that boyfriend is Shady Boots. Now, I don't know. I don't follow um, Tamar like that. I don't follow her uh, relationship, you know, uh, like that. So, I don't know if he's Shady Boots, you know, or not. I did listen to that 911 tape, and it seems like to me that it would be odd to bring up a relationship with a company. He never did say we, TV. He just kept saying the company, the company, the company. And the 911 dispatcher was like, well, what have they done to her? How long have she been with this company? You know, of course, the 911 dispatcher had no idea who he was talking about, who these people are, because there was no names, you know, dropped. But um, the boyfriend seemed very... Uh, frustrated and disappointed with, you know, the route of uh, this reality show. Now, is the reality show, does it still have a green light or have they paused it? So, I don't know. But, only thing I know is I hope Tamar gets the help um, that she needs, that she comes out, you know, stronger, better, and let's hope that everything works out between her and WeTV. We know that her, her sisters, and the Braxton family have had a long um, relationship with we. That's what started, you know, Braxton family values. And so, anyway, prayer still going up for Tamar Braxton. Let's move on. Congratulations to Nicki Minaj. She is pregnant. Um, when she did that video with um, Six Nine, you can, you know, tell that. She was carrying something in that little belly of hers. I thought she was going to announce it then, but she didn't. She decided to announce it now. And congratulations. As we know, she has been going through some things with, you know, the background of her um, husband. And people have voiced their opinion about whether she should have a child with this man. It ain't none of my concern. As long as Nikki is happy, that's all that I care about. Look, she married him. If she like it, I love it. I can't be talking about her marriage. She chose this boy, so she married now. And now she's pregnant, and she seems very, very happy. So congratulations to Nicki Minaj. Also, congratulations to Justin Timberlake and um, Jessica Biel. Is that his wife? No, Jessica Bill is not his wife. What's his wife's name, y'all? Is it Jessica Bill? No, that don't sound right. I'll put it up here. Is it a Jennifer? Anyway, I'll put it up here. Um, according to news reports, they are expecting their second child. Y'all know Justin was down there in New Orleans holding hands and kissy, kissy, huggy, huggy with some little... One of us, honey. <laughs> he said he was intoxicated. I reported on that. And he had this big, long apology. But anyway, everything must be going okay in the um, household of Justin Timberlake because they are, um, I believe, expecting their second child. Congratulations. Let's move on. All right, let's talk about this whole Drea Meg the Stallion mess. Now, as we know, Meg Thee Stallion got shocked, okay? Now, allegedly, she got shot by um, Troy, um, by Tory Lanez, all right? Now, we don't know that for sure, okay? Because Meg isn't talking, okay? Nobody's talking, all right? So, we don't know for sure that Tory Lanez shot Meg in the foot. Okay, so, of course, you know, this has been going on. People have been talking. Well, Drea, if y'all don't know Drea, Drea is like, she was on um, Basketball Wives. And I guess now she's a, what, what does she do, y'all? Is she like an Instagram influencer? I have no idea what Drea does. I have no idea. But anyway, she was on the podcast. 
And you know, once these celebrities get on these podcasts, they just get to running off at the mouth. Well, they brought up Meg the Stallion getting shot. All right. Andrea said a comment like, shoot, you know, that's a Whitney and Bobby kind of thing. Okay, that's that kind of chemistry. And so Drea proceeds to say, I wish a guy would be that into me that he'll shoot me. She said it along those words. It wasn't, you know, I, I can't remember verbatim, but, you know, she said something like, I wish somebody was that into me that they would shoot me. Drea, you couldn't think of anything else to say. I mean, you couldn't say, you know, I, I, you know, you couldn't think of anything else to say. Oh, I know. Don't say anything at all. There is no correlation positive with a shooting. You can't say anything positive about someone being shot. Especially, allegedly, if it was going on because of some type of verbal altercation inside of a vehicle. Okay? But... Nobody really knows that. All the ones who know that is Meg, Tory Lanez, and whoever else was in that car. But anyway, let's move on. So, of course, once she said it, it hit the internet. Okay. It hit it. And, of course, they proceed to rip her into shreds. They start taking off limbs. How are you, you know, glamorizing you know, a shooting of a black female. How can you, you know, laugh about somebody being shot? You know, you're a bird. All this stuff. Okay. So, of course, Meg, she took to her little Instagram or Twitter, and this is what she said. You dumb B. That blank ain't effing funny. Who the F jokes about getting shot by a n-word that's what meg says okay now of course after meg says that it blows up even more because of course she's talking about drea even though she didn't say drea everybody knew who she was talking about so now drea had to put out a statement this is what drea had to say This is Drea. I truly don't glorify domestic violence. I was trying to say just love me deeply. Stop right there. When she said the first sentence, I truly don't glorify domestic violence. Now, Meg hasn't talked about how she got shot in the foot. Okay. It's just been speculation that Tory Lanez, the one that don't close his mouth when he eat, the one that I don't think is quite right, okay, shot her during a domestic argument, but we ain't said nothing, okay, but she, she does say, she doesn't use the term domestic violence. I was trying to say just love me deeply. But while trying to be funny, I offended many, including Meg, and I am sorry. Listen, people, 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 we have seen and heard time and time again when these celebrities get on these podcasts, they just be talking. You know, they try to make jokes. No one is receiving the jokes. Someone is going to be offended. Their sensitive ears out there. Okay. And she said that she was trying to, you know, make a joke. No one caught the joke. And she got ripped to shreds. Okay. Don't say anything. All right. When they are, in, them podcasters bringing that up, only thing Drea should have said was, look, I hate that that happened and I wish Meg the best. What else y'all got? Moving on. My name Bennett. I ain't in it. You know, or this will happen. So, you know. Anyway, she has apologized. I don't know if Meg accepted her apology, but she apologized. And I truly don't think that Drea meant any harm or malice by, by that. If y'all have watched Drea on Basketball Wives, <laughs> that girl didn't mean nothing by it. She always sticking her foot in her mouth. 
Oh, Drea, what do y'all think about that? Let's move on. All right, let's talk about Kanye. Now, as I reported last week, Kanye has been, he said he was going to run for president. All right, and I told y'all TMZ too many zeros said that he has not been taking his medication according to Kim's family. He has been wilding out, okay? Now, he went down to South Carolina and just embarrassed himself, okay? He went down there as a, you know, part of his presidential campaign, and he starts rambling and rambling and rambling. He starts talking about Harriet Tubman, and he starts talking about a Abortion. He said that Harriet Tubman didn't free no slaves. And he was going on and on and on. All right. He says this. He says, I remember that my girlfriend called me screaming and crying. And I was just thinking because at the time I was a rapper and I was out there. Different girlfriends and everything. And she said, I'm pregnant. And I said, yes. And then I said, uh-oh. He says that he was thinking about Kim having a, I'm not going to say the word, but it goes with children, okay, that she was going to get rid of said child. That's what he said during his little presidential campaign, and it made no sense. Everything was just jumbled up, and he was just randomly just talking. Talking, 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 talking. So after that went viral and he just completely, just completely went off the rails, South Carolina said, now listen here, okay? I don't know who you think you messing with, but you ain't coming down here with these shenanigans. You come down here cutting the shine, talking out the side of your neck. You will not be on the presidential ballot. South Carolina said you're not going to be represented. So South Carolina was tired of Kanye. So Kanye went back home or wherever he went, and he goes into this Twitter manic state. Y'all, I bet you he tweeted for a good, it was over two hours, almost three. I couldn't screenshot all of um, Kanye's rambling. But I got some of them. This is what he says in some of them. If we, this is what he says in some of them. If I get locked up like Mandela, we'll know why. Kim tried to bring a doctor to lock me up with the doctor. Oh God. Shia was disposed to do the first YZY gap shoot and he never showed up. Anna Wintour always showed me love, but when I told her I was going to Gap, she looked at me like I was crazy. Then she called back, kissing my butt. West children would never do Playboy West. Chris and Kim, call me now. Kim was trying to fly to Wyoming with the doctor to lock me up, like on the movie Get Out, because I cried about saving my daughter's life yesterday. NBC locked up Bill Cosby. I mean, just ramblings. Just ramblings, okay? It was so many. He just kept going on and on. He was talking about Halle Berry, Jennifer Lawrence. I mean, obviously, he is going through some type of mental breakdown. Okay, we already know he's bipolar. We already know he's not taking his medication because that's what came out of his mouth and also some of the family members, according to TMZ. Okay. So he's going through all these tweets. He's going through all these, you know, mental, you know, breakdowns. And he also says that Chris and Kim, you know, tried to get him 5150, tried to send him to a mental hospital, even though he don't think he needs it. Blah, blah, blah. Kanye, he's in a world of his own, okay? Now, some people are saying that Kanye, this is all a publicity stuff because of his album. Some people are saying that Kanye truly needs help, okay? What do I think? 
I think it's a little bit of both. I think that Kanye knows when to stop and when to start. And I think that um, this whole presidential crap that's not even going to pan out, um, I think he needed something to boost his, um, you know, his record sales. And also, I do think that maybe he did have um, a little bit of a break. I do think that him and Kim have some type of problems behind the scene because there is no way that you can be with a man who is tweeting like this and talking like this and just do all these things without having some type of problem in your relationship. There's no way. There's obviously some type of stress, you know, going on. And for someone to be bipolar and openly say that they're not even taking their medication, what do you think is going to happen? Okay? I do believe that Kanye is bipolar. He obviously has some type of mental issues, and he definitely needs to be, you know, taking care of himself on a daily. If not, this is what happens. Does he want to boost his record sales? Of course he does. Okay? Of course he did, because he know that he's Kanye West, and pe and people will, you know, respond and listen, and you know, they will continue to follow Kanye to get him a little bit more boost when he do, you know, release his um, album. Has he even released it? I don't even listen to Kanye anymore, child. But now, according to U.S. Weekly. Um, they're saying that Kim this week, along with, you know, mama of Chris, honey, that she has been um, talking to divorce lawyers, several of them, that this has um, been going on for a while. She has given Kim, a, uh, I'm sorry, Kanye, according to U.S. Weekly, an ultimatum. Either you get help, stay on your medication, or me and the children are um, leaving. Now, he also said that. He said something about, you know, the 5150 and all that. So, obviously, um, there's been a discussion there. So, that may not be too far from the truth. But also, we have heard rumors of Kim and Kanye um, splitting up for years. So, who's to say what's really going on? But I do think that there is definitely trouble um, in paragraph in paradise they have also um kim said that the kids and kanye will not be filmed on keeping up with the kardashians i don't even know if she's gonna be filmed none of this is a mess this is a whole mess kanye needs help okay i, I think that he needs to definitely get on his medication take it you know daily and oh my god then he ends it with, um, I'm going to focus on my music. What do y'all think about Kanye, y'all? Mm -mm -mm. Leave it down below. Congratulations to Ciara and Russell Wilson. They had a cute little baby boy named Wilson Russell. Is that the name of it? Harrison Wilson. No, I was all wrong. Harrison Wilson. The baby and the mother is doing fine. And I'm sure that baby's going to be adorable because all of their kids are just adorable, even though her children are with a uh, community penis of uh, future. Congratulations to Sierra and Russell Wilson. All right, guys, I think that's it. All right, nothing else to talk about. I'm going to leave it short and sweet. I hope you have a fantastic um, weekend. I hope you stay safe. I know the routine. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And until next week, friends, bye.